Hello, hello, and welcome to Sunny's View on this channel. Today is Christmas Eve. When I tell you I got a lot to do, first cooking. I have 10, probably over 10 bunches of green to cut and clean. I bought so many greens to the point they would not fit in my refrigerator. So what I did for the last three days is kept it on top of my deep freezer. And what I had to do was continuously rotate it or keep them cold. But they're trying to go bad, y'all. So let me go and get up on top of these greens. Now, I was able to go by the store called DDS. And I finally found me bowls. I finally found these bowls that will accommodate the meals that I do prepare for my family. I was so happy to get these bowls because you're talking about $8.99 and $10.99 for these size bowls. I couldn't get that at ikea for that price okay today with this meal we're going to do oxtail we're going to have some uh ribs out on the grill now if y'all got a problem with me talking about how good god is i'm this ain't the channel for you because the gifts that he gives me it all comes from him so i have to give credit where credit is due now there's a recipe that he gave me with these oxtails i've never done the recipe before so i'm doing it for the very first time but see anytime he gives you something you can take it to the bank and cash that thing in because if you follow it to the t of the recipe or what whatever way he tell you to do it do it that way and i promise you it's going to come out exactly how he told you to do it so i have the oxtails that i'm doing we're doing barbecue oxtails out on the grill you ain't never seen it like this before I don't even know if people do barbecue oxtail. I don't know. I've never had it, never seen it, never tried it, okay? This is my very first time. Something different, something unique, and something that was gifted to Sonya. We're going to do some ribs out on the grill. I was debating about doing the mac and cheese. We're going to do the mac and cheese. Dressing, candy yam. We're going to have a feast for Christmas. And I'm hoping these greens are going to last until uh, the New Year. I'm not doing it. This is it. For, for greens. I'm going to cut, clean, and put these greens together. I know it's not going to last, but I'm hoping that it lasts until the new year. If not, we will be eating out for the new year. I'm not doing any cooking for the new year. But um, sit back, relax. I'm not going to do it in the traditional way of the way I do things. I may just show you clips of it, put it all together just to show you how deliciously this meal is going to look. And when I, I've already told you guys, I'm not eating with any type of utensils. I'm using this right here, baby. I'm going back to the old school way of getting down on the get down on a good meal. That's not going to require any force or spoon, baby. Just this right here and this right here. That's it. That's it. Whatever you're doing for your Christmas holiday, leave some information down below. I'm hoping to get this video out to you by Christmas so you can enjoy this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I have to clean and cook all of these. You better move for your thigh get a, a tattoo on it. Do it, do it, do it again. Do it again, Sonya. Do it, do it again, yay. Do it again. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense how I throw down, y'all. Look at that. That's a theme song for this damn mac and cheese. Do it again. And on blind account, made it on. Part two. Yesterday I started on the greens. I did the 
Mac and cheese. I ended up doing two trays of mac and cheese. <laughs> two trays of mac and cheese. Um, I didn't do 10 bunches of green. I did 25 bunches of green. So today, I gotta hurry up because they're trying to eat up the stuff again. Before I can finish, but I can tell you this, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna put me a lot off to the side because y'all gonna see my plate, okay? But uh, today is all about the ribs. Y'all know this is my specialty. Let me tell you something. I tell it's not the cheapest thing you want to buy. These little trays right here, and it made sense. Me and a lady was in the store talking. It makes sense to get the smaller trays because you do have the bigger pieces on there. And if you count the smaller trays versus the long, longer trays, you're going to get bigger pieces more so than those little nubs and pieces of the tail. So I got three of these, and this is this was like 40 some odd, almost $50. I was sick. I was really sick. Somebody going to ask me, well, Sonya, are you going to take, um, what is the back of the lining? The back side of the ribs, the lining off, I don't take that off. I leave it on because it allows your, your ribs to cook evenly. And if you allow it to cook evenly, when it comes out, you can take it off. We like the, the lining. I just don't take it off. If you take that off before you cook these ribs the way you need to, you're going to burn your ribs. They're going to be overcooked. They're going to be hard. Don't do it. Don't do it. But come on, let's go and finish cooking this meal because it's taking me two days. Today is Christmas Day and it's taking me two days. I'm tired. So let's let's get started for today. Charcoal grip, charcoal. I'm gonna take this. This is what I do, so this way I don't never have to throw the bag away. Just put them in different spots. Then I'm gonna put that over there. Put that over there. I'm gonna overlap it. That's fine. Right down the border. And we're gonna close that down. Let it slow cook for a couple of hours. Come back for it. You see that? And what you want to do is leave this outside until all of your, the rest of your food is ready to be served. And then you take this off and serve this hot. Over here we have my glazed bread. Those are the ones with my special sauce on it. Look at that. Look at
Okay, it's time to take our hot shell off the grill. Let's have a look. There we go. We'll take it on in. There we go, barbecue our seal. get in your house. Okay, today is Christmas. I've been cooking for two days. Last night, tried to cook me some dressing and fell asleep, burnt the dressing. That's okay. Cause when I tell you this plate right here is gonna make up for it. Woo, yes it is. Yes it is, girl, yes. But yes, that is my plate for Christmas. We didn't do the traditional thing for us, a turkey, ham. We just did that for Thanksgiving, so we didn't want the same thing. So I did barbecue ribs, mac and cheese. I ended up doing two trays of mac and cheese. I thought I was cleaning 10 bunches of greens. I thought I was cleaning 10 bunches of greens. I ended up cleaning 25 bunches of greens. And of the 25, I got a small bowl left over that has not been cooked. They're going through these greens like it ain't no tomorrow. In between cooking, they running downstairs, won't some, won't some. I did some sticky rice. I did the barbecue oxtails outside on the grill. I did um, candy yams. Did my sweet, my sweet thing sauce ribs as well as my secret recipe for Glazing those ribs, they're delicious. I think I did sell the collard green. I did some cornbread. I had the dinner rolls. I made two almond pound cakes, a lemon pound cake. I'm gonna do a uh, three layer yellow and chocolate cake. Not right now, I'm not. And then I'm gonna make two of the pie. I got the pie crust out. It's gonna make two sweet potato pies. Yeah, when I tell you I'm beat, tired, and it's probably gonna take me two days to edit this video. But I kept everything in order because I'm one of those kind of cooks. When, I, when I'm cooking, I like to keep things in order so it won't be that much to do. And I just can't work in a kitchen that has, you know, dirty pots and dishes as well. So that's, that's what really took the most of my time, but try, trying to record it as well as prepare it, prep it, and cook it. That's what really took up the time. And I didn't buy the Kobe and Malik this year because I wanted them to just enjoy their vacation of having these two weeks out of school. So I did the greens by myself. It took me three hours to do for that prepping. It took another, I wanna say a couple of hours to cook because I like everything I cook, I slow cook it, baby. If you ever had some of my cooking, you're gonna have one of those everlasting memories, okay? But yeah, I'm gonna get in here. Normally I don't eat, but I got me a plate right here. I'm gonna throw it out on this plate. I don't even have a fork. I told y'all, I'm throwing out with these hands. And if you was born in the 60s, 70s, that's what we did, baby. We got down with these hands. Yes, we did, and they're clean, okay? So I hope you and your family enjoyed Christmas. I'll see you guys in a couple of days because there's something seriously that I want to talk to you guys about. Something we're going to work on going into the new year. Come on back in a couple of days. i got a couple of other videos. I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I will see you at least by the 30th, I think. Yeah, by the 30th, I see you with a new video. So I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together. Your girl been in the kitchen cooking for two days. Two, okay? But as long as everybody happy, it's well worth it. It's well worth it. So I hope you have enjoyed the time we've shared together. Until next time, be blessed. Bye, y'all.